I love bringing you simple recipes from my childhood. This steamed egg with ground pork is something my mom made all the time and it's easy and it's delicious. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we are all about simple food, simple faith. Written recipes are available to my patrons on Patreon. So let's get started. We are starting with half a pound of ground pork. My mom used to chop up pork with a knife by her by hand. And um, you know all, I can't be bothered with that. I do have a meat grinder, but um, yeah, there, there's more effort in that as well. After I did my steamed egg in the Instant Pot, a lot of Cantonese viewers were asking about the one with pork. And I guess they also grew up with this same dish. And I know that every family probably has this recipe, but it'll be a little bit different because it depends on whatever you grew up with. I'm adding one teaspoon of soy sauce, half a teaspoon of Shaoxing wine. You know, I'm all estimating, so it's just whatever lands in there. I have half a teaspoon of sugar, a pinch of salt, a pinch of white pepper, and a drizzle of sesame oil. Then we're gonna stir this up, but only in one direction. Because my mom told me that you have to stir the pork in one direction, otherwise you will undo everything, which I still don't quite understand, but it does get stickier as I stir. Okay, so you can see that it's all coming together. The pork is getting stickier. And that's the texture that you want. Okay, while the pork is marinating, we will get our eggs ready. So I have four eggs. Whoops, so graceful. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna try to take out this uh, little piece of brown spot on the egg. And did you know that you can only really take stuff out of the egg with eggshell? You can try with a fork or whatever, but it works best with an eggshell. Isn't that weird? See, ta-da. And then we're just gonna beat the eggs a little bit. I just find it's easier to beat the eggs a little bit before adding my chicken broth. You can use water or chicken broth, but if you use water, it has to be cooled, boiled water. I don't know what the science is behind that, but that's what my mom says. So chicken broth has obviously had been boiled before, so I'm just using that, and I find that it makes for a tastier egg custard. I am using one and a half eggshells per egg. So I have a half shell here. So it's three half shells to one and a half. And I have four eggs. So that means 12 of these of chicken broth goes in. Okay. I can just see dude trying to understand. And this really is the easiest way to explain how much liquid to add because it's one egg to one and a half of liquid. So it doesn't matter what size your eggs are so long as you're adding one and a half eggs of liquid. Over the years, I've been really lazy about just throwing these into the fridge when I've like partially used it, but I've gotten smart over the years and I now put the date that I opened it, and then I know that it kind of expires um, 14 days after the fact, because on the back it does say to use within 14 days. We're just gonna mix this up. Okay. I'm using this plate that fits nicely in my eight quart. 
If you are using a six quart, you'll just have to use a smaller plate that will fit, but it'll also have to be um, higher. Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm gonna put the pork on the bottom. I'm just gonna spread it. You can use your hands if you want. I choose not to. Because chopsticks are awesome for all sorts of things. And then I'm going to add my egg mixture. Now, some people will actually strain their egg mixture over so that it you eliminate bubbles and um, any other bits that you don't want in your custard. But you know, I can't be bothered with all of that, so I'm just gonna pour it in. It may not be the prettiest custard, but it'll all taste the same. I'm gonna cover it with uh, plastic wrap, but you can use whatever you want. Foil, a silicon lid. I wish I had a silicon lid for it because the ones I have won't fit. But I want to prevent the water from going into the egg mixture. Put this on the trivet. And we're gonna lower it down. Oh, sorry, I already have a cup of water down there. Placing the lid on, locking into place, and making sure the sealing knob is on sealing. We're gonna put it in for 10 minutes on low pressure. And I just used manual pressure cook button. We'll see in a bit. All right, we're almost there. But while we're waiting for the pressure to be completely released, I'm just gonna put one teaspoon of soy sauce and about half a teaspoon of sesame oil. And we're just going to stir that up. I just find that by spooning the soy sauce and sesame oil over the egg custard, it doesn't like, um, sometimes when you pour soy sauce in or the sesame oil, it like cracks the egg and you just want this to kind of be a flavor that sits on top. So I think by mixing it up, I can, I can do that while I s gently spoon it over. I'm removing my um, steam knob because it always falls off on me and freaks me out every time it drops to the floor. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Okay. All right. Wow, it smells so much better after I got the plastic wrap off. Okay, we're just going to spoon the soy sauce and sesame oil mixture over top. A good pinch of white pepper. And some, I just have a little bit of green onions that I chopped up. And that's it. Are you all ready for? taste. You know, I'm kind of in a contemplative mood because every time you cook these uh, childhood favorites, it makes me think about my childhood and the food that my mom cooked. And this is one of those things, the steamed egg with pork. And uh, it's super basic. And I think at the time when I was a kid, probably wind up complaining a lot like, oh, that again? <laughs> but really, as I get older, it's kind of like, uh, it's not just nostalgia, but it's those flavors that I come back to, a simplified taste. Although I love all the different cuisines out there, there's something about things that you grew up with. Is it jiggly? Ooh, nice. 
<laughs> Stays together. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna just try to get this in there. Stop burning your mouth. Yes. Nice and smooth. And that mixture on top of the soy and the sesame oil. Just a nice addition, you know, just a nice way to top it all off. Pun intended. I don't have rice with me, but usually it would just would be on the rice and just be a mouthful of great flavors, great mouthfeel with the smoothness of the custard of the steamed egg and just a nice simple meal along with some leafy veg, Chinese leafy veg on the side. I mean, you got yourself a super tasty meal and nutritious, dare I say. Mm. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. Sometimes my mom would even add a salted egg in the middle and it just adds to the flavor. But this was one of those childhood dishes where we would fight over who got to kind of lick the plate. And that means whatever sauces and whatever bits were left in the dish, we were allowed to put another scoop of rice in and just clean it up. The steamed egg recipe is in my first cookbook. The only difference I made was I added some pork and added some thyme to the cook time. It's in my Instant Pot Recipe Collection cookbook. And to check out some more childhood favorites, I'll see you over there.